Hello, and welcome to the debut episode of the Ed and Javi podcast. My name is Ed. And my name is Javi. Hello, and welcome. We intend to be extremely serious on this podcast. <laughs> Syria. Let's talk about Syria. What's the deal? The capital is still Damascus. And that's all I all know. All right, so we're in a good place then with Syria. Um, what's the <laughs> Bashar al-Assad is still oh, shit, I should probably move. supreme leader. With- we are beginning today's um, ex- electric boogaloo with um, <laughs> this um, wonderful man called Sean Woods. No one, I don't know. He has how many? He has like eighty eight hundred thousand 800, 800, subscribers. Eight, he has more than eighty. It's like eight hundred sixty-seven thousand. Yeah, subscribers. I found I found him just on my recommended list on my homepage because I was looking which up. which will sound really creepy once you we show you what. Well, it is. I mean, I was just looking into like home improvement crap, and he showed up. He's he reviews ma- mice traps, mouse traps, mice traps, M- mice. Keep saying mice traps. Mice's traps. <laughs> license traps <laughs> um i don't know it seemed like a weird niche to me like to review my mouse traps but he has over eight hundred thousand subscribers and a lot of people seem to really enjoy uh watching his stuff and even though he does some weird stuff and there's been some comments about that in the comment sections of his videos yeah no one's really i haven't seen anyone I talk mean, about it yeah anyone popular what's what uh but no yeah well let's just watch just jump down in the little bowl, be caught in the oil, they'll get all slippery, they'll try to get out, try to jump, they can't. Then in the morning we can see what we have. So let's go test this out. I have a barn with a lot of mice. Let's see if they like peanut oil. Uh, it seems innocent enough. You know, you're just catching mice. Seems fucking creepy. Right yeah. Off, right off the bat. I just, I love how, like, straight-faced he is. Like, just no... No, no emotion. emotion. Yeah. Nothing. Mouse number one. <laughs> <laughs> dun dun. <laughs> he, Especially but like, yeah, he has just the a bunch of footage of of mice. Like, look, they're just they're struggling to get out. Like, it's it's not it's really dis like not like when I first saw the video for the bull of oil mouse trap. I thought it might be a hoax. They're all covered in oil. Well. It's like but after testing look at them. They're shitting in the real thing. They're shitting in their own oil bowl. It's oil bag. Bowl, a little bit of it's fucked. Oil, like and in one night, I was able to get seven mice. I like how he still travel. records. Like he couldn't just Usually like find them at in the morning. Wild like, mice, okay, they've been the through this kid's He has to you know record. He has to be like these are anonymous species. going on. These mice are just you know struggling. They want to die. They're being tortured right now. And keep them as pets and use them for future mouse trap Monday videos where we test out live animals traps so let's go clean these guys up and put them in their new home but i mean oh, yeah, yeah we're now ready to clean up our yeah. he, he cleans it up what he says there is kind of weird like he's like i'm gonna keep him as pets and and yeah. use him in my future mousetrap like okay it's a mousetrap he does. like like i understand like there's reviews for everything or and he like i mean he's really an innovative engineer yeah i mean that, that's <laughs> a smart idea and I, like I, we saw. Right. Or here, let's go back. There's a definitely bit. a creep factor in here. He, um, the video that he's basing it off of is this video. It's seven years ago, two million views. So there's obviously a gigantic community. So he's not like a bad guy torturing animals. There's obviously a you know a viewer base of people that want to catch mice. My problem is is like, like I don't know. There's just the idea of trapping them. And then keeping as, them as pets and just, you know, doing countless tests on them and just, um, you know, putting them through all these test traps that he's reviewing. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I guess it's the same thing, like, in the uh, science community. They use, you know, rats and stuff. Oh, yeah. They try test medicines. That isn't humane either. I mean, I'm not, like, a PETA dude, but, like, Yeah, I can't time, wait. I don't know. It's That's weird. what surprised me. 800,000 followers and... PATA has no idea. Right? Exactly. Yeah. At this and point, all the comments are like... super supportive. Like sometimes it's like, yeah, that's that's kind of gross, but like, oh, yeah. it's never like this is this is disgusting. This is this is wrong. It's like, oh yeah, it, it's it's. How many views does this have? Uh, this one, seven million views. Seven million views. Seven point five million views. That's ridiculous. 
I just, I mean, I, I, I understand kind of the appeal if you're into this stuff. I don't know. Like, I mean, if you're if you're into like the mouse traps and building stuff yeah, yourself, exactly. and you if, live on a ranch and, and a big plot of land, and you have a rodent problem, uh, yeah. But those people but, aren't on YouTube watching this shit. Like, it's people that are yeah. just sadistic that want to see like rats struggle and shit. Yeah. In my opinion, I don't know. There can't, I mean, that's what that's there can't what, be seven point five million people that are having a mouse trap problem. You know, there's people yeah, who subscribe. There's to, no and, way. I mean, I'm subscribed to him just for the obscurity of it, and I'm sure a lot of people are. Recently, he posted this video, which I thought was just a whole different batch of crazy oh, yeah. he um he digs up a yellow jacket nest and then he makes a a, a, a trap for it in here and now we'll set up our homemade trap this is so easy all you need is a container that will hold water this can be a bowl a bucket or here i'm using a tote on top of the trap you'll need a board i got fancy with this one and cut some grooves on the table saw but i got them a little thin so it might break you don't have to get this fancy anything that will hold the bait will work for bait, we're going to use pieces of a chicken carcass. The bees really love this meat. I don't know. That, that, that's something odd to me, too. It's like chicken the, how carcass. dismantled it is, too. Like, yeah, he just he just grabbed the chicken. I mean, he just, he just had a bunch of chicken laying around, right? Yeah. He just grabbed some gnarly pieces. Like, oh, whatever. I'm not hey going to eat this anyways. It's a carcass. Welcome to Chicken Trap Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I mean, that's just weird as hell. And it, I mean, he makes content all the time. Like, I'd make it makes sense if it was like an offshoot video where it's like, "Hey, here's something I found to help you know catch mice or catch yellow jackets." But he's like actively searching for this stuff. Yeah. They'll go after it. I'm gonna attach the chicken carcass with some screws. Then we'll flip it over and finish the trap. The yellow jackets really want to get the bait. They go in here. They go upside down and grab a big load of meat. They're very greedy. And usually when they take off, they drop a few inches. So we're going to add water just an inch below the bait. That way, when they take off, they'll drop in the water. I don't know. It's... I feel like he studied this. I mean, like, you, this like... isn't his first rodeo. You can exactly. Tell. Like, the amount of information you have to get to know that yellow jackets take off and, like, drop a few inches. Like, what? That's such an observation. Like Yeah. And he, like, he uh, he knows. Like, it, it just, he, I mean, of, like, in the end, it catches a bunch of, uh, tra of. Oh, yeah. Yellow jackets, but like here, he knows to put in dish soap, like so they can't like swim on the water and survive. Yeah, yeah. He like they just sink and like, I don't know. It, I mean, they don't sink, but they just they can't grab onto the water and like fly away. Yeah, and he puts up two nests like next to it. I mean, uh, two traps. Two other traps. Next to yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Which are like store bought. I don't know, but you can. This one, I think they both have like the liquid in it. Uh, one has meat because it didn't come with the liquid. Um, but like, yeah, the ones. Yellow jackets and hornets apparently like to, you know, they just go for meat and they go for, you know, to feed their children as, like, honeybees go for, um... For pollen. Pollen. Um, I don't know. It's, like, I'm not a huge fan of yellow jackets. Who is? But they're still, like, they're living beings. And they obviously aren't, like, dumb. Like, they know when they're being attacked. They know when they're... Yeah. Uh, and this isn't, like, a... Don't kill bugs. Don't kill animals. Oh like, yeah, no, uh, I don't care. Go ahead. Like we're, gonna, we're actually just, vegans, but like you'll you'll see in a bit here. Let, let's continue. Yeah. He he has a bunch of all. It, it, this is kind of satisfying just to watch him like take off and immediately like watch this one. That's oh, why. Oh this yeah, is, he squares. Oh. Yeah, that's why people watch it. They want to see those the little beings yeah. that are puny suffer. I mean, the the mice. I'm not too into. Like mice, I, I think that's because they're weird. mammals. Like I'm more. I'm more sympathetic of them, and because they don't harm too much. That's racist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just piling. But there's tons, it's been three like, hours since we set up these traps. Look and how many there are. Results. He just skips Let's go ahead too. and he's count like, and see what the no final numbers are. And he's all casual. Here's he's the final like, result. Wow. He, he doesn't even do like a text rack. like, wow, guys, that's totally crazy. It's just like, <laughs> so, we're, wow. so we caught 7,000 bugs. And this is the part that fucks me up. He counts them. By hand. By hand. And he results. Oh, I counted out each individual yellow jacket, and in just a few hours, with the white trap, we caught 76, and with the pig trap, we caught 111. I think we caught more in this trap mm. because we used chicken as bait, and right now the yellow jackets are really focused on meat. Just the way in this he trap, like, we used a liquid that was provided as bait. I think we would have caught more yeah, with yeah, chicken. I mean, it's not, it's Both store-bought sure, traps yeah. work well, and I think they're good options for long-term maintenance. But if you need to reduce the population in a hurry. That's, Make a homemade trap with a container. Like you cut that out now, or you'll go home in an ambulance. In our homemade trap, we caught 790 yellow jackets. 
like, really reduced oh, numbers she, she in the hurry. She runs it through his fingers, especially like, if you feeling it like, like it's silk. Or I something. think this guy is just he's just immune to death. Like he deals with mice trap no, mouse traps. Christ, I can't <laughs> say. It. He deals with mouse traps every day, and he kills little animals. And he's just come to the point where he can just dig through like the carcass of fucking all these bugs and all this shit, and it, he's just like, so, <laughs> so a good way to dispose of these guys would be to. Uh, burn them in the fire to probably eat them he probably eats them <laughs> <laughs> grind them up put them in a milkshake I can't. it's just like sad to see all those dead bugs yeah like, i mean it, well dead like i don't know it's i would be i don't know they are beings it's not the fact that it's not the fact that he's killing bugs it's the fact that it's the sheer scale the scale and the fact the, that he dumps them on the table the fact the, that he's sifting through <laughs> them and eating them and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i just he's i don't know why he's there's such a following and no one's talking about him yeah that's i mean mousetrap monday okay we'll be checking back with him yeah this is this this, this little, is not this, the end this little part of his nail is Sean there Woods. through all of his videos I don't know what it is. I think it's like it's one of those things. I think when you when when you like hit it really hard on accident, it, it, it'll get the little spot in there. Cause you get that same thing. Like if you pinch your if you pinch your skin really hard. But what did he do? Little... What did he do to? What did he he do probably to accidentally Pro- nailed his finger instead of the chicken carcass <laughs> or something crazy. <laughs> the chicken carcass. <laughs> I, carcass, the, the entire carcass of a chicken. Traps just, work well, and it's I not think it's a good option for long I just, I don't know. But if you need to reduce the population I mean, in a hurry, it doesn't look like, like that many because they're in a confined space. But that's like, some water, some well, the, the title says it's in our homemade trap. We caught seven. I, th- I mean, it's seven hundred. Seven hundred with the big trap. I think. Yeah, seven hundred with the homemade one, and then like two hundred and one hundred. I think. Yeah, that's. Thousand. I just like uh oh, I, I I don't know I can't I can't watch it like I I was watching it in bed when I found it and I audibly just went like no <laughs> I, I don't know everyone in the world. all right here's here's all right headline Jelly Belly Candy Corn Capital do not buy this item <laughs> right I mean okay so we were we were perusing King Supers which is our wow, our Sorry? Three weeks. Yeah, it's pretty freaking dumb. But, um, yeah, just our local grocery store. And, I mean, not local, it's a chain, but whatever. We find these. We are like, because we were like, oh, yeah, candy corn is pretty good. We it's were, candy we corn were... season. It's, we bought this weeks ago. So it was like, it's barely August. Yeah, yeah. And they're already selling candy corn. They just finished selling whatever they had. Yeah. Oh, football stuff. So we find Jelly Belly branded, um, candy corn. Candy corn. And, and we were like, this ha- this ha- we, we, I don't know, we were kind of just like, this has to not be good. Because candy corn is just kind of a generic item. Yeah, you, you only like, see, like, the one brand. Yeah, it's like, it's like candy corn, it like, uh, 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 with obscure brands, or it's like the Brax candy brand that always has it stocked. Yeah. But, like, as soon as you try to make it fancy, I think that's where you lose it. Like, candy corn sim- has a certain simplicity with it. Definitely, like that, that's the whole point of it. Yeah, it's so like, you can just throw a bunch just in so a bowl you can and just, kids yeah. can take a handful. And just eat sugar. Yeah. Yeah. But um, this this one is a specific gourmet uh, candy corn uh, with flavors of chocolate, uh, chocolate, cinnamon, cinnamon, and original, original, original flavor. Um, they're, they're all bad. not they're not flavors. They're gourmet flavors. According to Jelly Belly. They're all bad. And the thing you might be thinking is like, well, if you like the original, if you like normal candy corn, shouldn't the original flavor be good? And it's not because the cinnamon flavor gets all over the fucking in, an entire bag. Yeah, like, it's ridiculous. Like, uh, when I opened the bag, I took a whiff. They don't I, know what they're and doing. I, and Yeah, they, they have no clue. I, I, I opened the bag, took a whiff. I'm like, okay, it's just cinnamon. Like, it, it tastes just like hot tamales or... I mean, like the candy, not actual hot tamales. Yeah, yeah. Um, or like cinnamon gum, and no one, no one really likes that stuff. I don't think that's why it's like never stocked on stores. What this? Or the um, the hot tamales and stuff. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, there's got to be an audience for this kind of stuff. They wouldn't stock it if there wasn't. But yeah, but it it it. This is also this was also more expensive than usual. This this bag, which is, I don't know how many servings. It's like. Three servings of thirteen pieces. 
It was like three, two, three, three, two, three this. bucks, right? Yeah. You can get like a, you know a family bag, like a big bag for like four bucks. This is three ounces. Um, this is a net weight. Yeah. And this was two bucks. At King Super. King Super isn't the cheapest. I mean, Walmart's cheaper. Oh. Must say, with. With the with, with the some... club card, I think that it's cheaper. That's fair. Um. No, it's gross. This candy corn's gross. Yeah, um, it really is. Um, uh, we've we've tried a little bit. Um, and it's really awful. Here, let me let me grab a, a few. There's there's so there there's the cinnamon flavor, which is like red and white, and it's it's the bad flavor. And there's the original flavor. That and but they're all they're all shaped like super super. They're stupid. cones. Like why are they not? They're yeah. They're not the they're candy not corns the are usually um like. What are they usually like? A like, like a here? really skinny like triangle, like an like an like isosceles a, kind of tri- triangle. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But it's but it's like really skinny. These are these are enormous. Like these are just big nips. Like, <laughs> and but yeah, like <laughs> they have a little tip like, on the end. The cinnamon one tastes like cinnamon. I'll give it that. Like if you like cinnamon, you'll probably like them. Yeah. The original tastes slightly of cinnamon. Because they're in the. Bag. I don't know. Maybe that's my fault. Um. The bag was sitting out for a couple weeks because we hadn't filmed the 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 podcast pilot yet. Pilot. <laughs> um, pilot. It's a TV show. No, but still, I mean, that's. I'd I don't say, think that's really. An excuse. I'd say one of the good flavors, the only good flavor, the is one, the chocolate one, one because the chocolate masks the flavor of the um, cinnamon of the cinnamon, and I mean, it's not a very good flavor. It tastes like a tootsie roll. It it yeah, it literally is a tootsie roll. Probably less healthy though. Mm-hmm. Even though it's fat-free, gluten-free, gluten-free, peanut-free, peanut free. fun-free, <laughs> candy corn-free. <laughs> Definitely, it's candy corn-free. It's a, it's. I mean, it's. I don't know. It's, it's horrible. It's a rip-off. I hate that. Like, just because Jelly Belly is an established brand, they're able to do this shit. Oh yeah. And well, who, who? And it's not good. Like, if they do this next year. I'm, like, this has to get off the shelves. How is anyone buying this crap? Like, they put their own twist on, like, the, um, uh, the, the, like, uh, variety pack, you know, that the original has. Yeah. It's like, it's like the, the, like, the chocolatey one, and then there's the punk- pumpkin. They're like, oh, well, that would be a total ripoff, so let's just make them the variety packs retardedly the, the pump- sized. That's, and- a, that's a good thing about candy corn, is if you get it with the pumpkin ones, you get the little candy corns where you can just throw a bunch in your mouth, or there's the big pumpkins where you can eat, it's, 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 a, it's a substantial amount of disgusting sugar, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't even think Jelly Belly gets jelly beans that, like, ugh, that well. Because, like, there's, um, I think they're called, they're the Starburst jelly beans that everyone really likes more, in my, like, that I've noticed. Those are, like, but Jelly Belly, jelly Belly has originals. a bunch of different flavors. Yeah, but they had the original, didn't they? Sorry? They had the original Jelly Belly. Yeah. But I, I love the Starburst. The only thing I don't like about the Starburst ones is, like, they're so good, you just want to stuff them all in your mouth. And they really don't have many flavors. Yeah. Then I they mean, all get all stuck I, to your teeth. My thing is, like, well, so does Jelly Belly. Um, That's bad. Jelly Belly, I just don't, like, they're not poppable. Because they're, like, oh, you have to figure out what flavor it is and see if it's going to be fucking. Yeah, and then like, you put it in. It tastes like, like skunk poop or whatever. Like, same time, like, because there's savory flavors. It's, like, there's butter popcorn. And then there's, like, sweet flavors, like... beer and, like, Dr. Pepper. Yeah. And so mixing, like, taking a bunch and throwing them in your mouth, you just get, like, a weird mush of... It's, it's, it's really, like when you mix really colors and get brown. It's like, <laughs> you might as well just have one flavor anyways, you know? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan. I think, uh... I think you can, uh... Figure out a creative way to shove those into a certain orifice. <laughs> As a creative, um, I bet there's a creative way to trap all the that people that came up with That seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. <laughs> Using Sean Wood's tactics. <laughs> we got to round up the Jelly Belly employees with a, a, a bowl of oil. <laughs> <laughs> or a chicken carcass. Anyways, yeah, not good. Not worth the buy. Stay, if you see, don't be tempted when you see it in the stores, unless you really like cinnamon. On your candy corn. Do you know about really good transitions, or do you know about musically? <laughs> yeah, they're bad. Like, <laughs> there's there's <laughs> nice. there's there's memes on Instagram 
of really cringy musicallys, and I don't think they're any better than the actual trying to be legitimate musicallys. Yeah, right? There, there's, a, there's, a, there were a few back at like the original like cringy musicallys that were pretty fun to watch. You know, some really, really weird people. Yeah, but then I'll get like a sponsored post from TikTok that's like just as bad as the as the meme. I, I can't I can't I can't watch that That's... much of it. There's this Buzz Lightyear looking ass boy. But I'm Buzz Lightyear. I didn't realize it. it actually was. I hate that. Like they'll take an out of context piece of movie or TV show. If, yeah, and just and they'll just just musically it. Yeah. Fuck. No, it's a lot. The hair, the bod. Oh, okay. That seems violently inappropriate. Did you wash your hands? And like they're 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 so cringy. I can't watch more than a few seconds of each one. Not try Monday time. Hey, that's not nice. They're all weird. Is this a good time to announce for those of you? I, I'm sure everyone's heard. What? The sad passing of. Oh, of, uh, of uh, a Stephen Carl. Stephen Carl Stephenson. Otherwise known as Robbie Rotten. Otherwise known as number one. Number one in our hearts forever. That was a good meme. I love you forever. <laughs> no, but musically, is I feel like they get to a point where they... I don't know. They reach a maximum cringe. Like, like look at this one. Cringe overload. Like, okay. Ugh. Fuck. Clicked off of it. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Eating sugar. No, Papa. Telling lies. No, Papa. Open wide. Pa <laughs> it's so creepy. Like this old dude. At the at this point, it's just... a nursery rhyme between like a, a fifty year old obese oh, dude yeah, and old. It, Mor it, and morbidly obese <laughs> and an man. eight year old. Girl, it's just weird. I don't know. Maybe there's a oh, look at that. the one with the one with the older lady. That's may, even okay, better. Maybe he learned his lesson. Like maybe there was backlash, and then he was like, "All right." I doubt it. it. <laughs> it's the same dude. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. It's totally ear rape. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I can't stand this YouTube, this depraved YouTube shit where they just input really old trends and really old shit and then hit the animate button. Oh yeah. It's like and like this the whole Johnny do 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 I think it's pretty hilarious. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's... shit for kids to like, click through and be like m mildly entertained. Oh yeah, the like, original like here here here. Let me uh, I don't have my keyboard on me, but like looking up you can probably look up like Johnny Johnny in YouTube and just see millions of hits for every video. Oh, yeah. It's insane. Like, kids are like, oh, I like that nursery rhyme. Johnny, Johnny. YouTube implemented the, the autoplay feature. Click on one video, it just goes through all of them. Oh, yeah. It's... Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Eating sugar. No, Papa. Telling lies. No, Papa. Up to side bowl that bossa ke. This, is, this is just classic music lead. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Eating sugar. No, Papa. Telling lies. No, Papa. Open wide. Ah, ah, ah. And you can you can kind of see him mouthing the words. Like he he's only trying to do the the baby parts, and he's like trying to. I mean, that's just that's just the low quality shit you find on musically. Random ass people. It's all of this shit. It's this shit over and yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the like surreal animation shit that's on YouTube. It's a parody. Which is a whole other community of itself. It's just mocking the the same fucking shit. It's it's hitting the animate button. <laughs> the chat's right. Look at that guy. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I feel like they purposely animated that. Johnny, Johnny. Man, that's enough.
Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. Eating sugar? No, Papa. Telling lies? No, Papa. Open your mouth? Ah ha ha! It was cocaine you were bamboozled. <laughs> See, here's the shit that gets me. Is it's meant for children to click through, but like it also gets a ton of views because people like us are just fucking mocking it. Oh yeah. Uh, I've seen this one all over. The, this. I just hate the cartoon sound effects. Less in all cartoon. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's appropriate. <laughs> That's a good one. That seems mildly inappropriate. I mean, there's there's some nice ones. Like there's there's like moms yeah, and like dads it, singing it's a, the actual nursery rhyme with their kids. Yeah, that's like, that's cute. And then and then musically ruins it. And then fucking Sean Woods kills all of them and, and then feels <laughs> their fing, feels their corpses their carcasses through his fingers and the chicken carcass. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he's kind of being nice, these mice. Like, but how? Like, no, no, it's torture. It, he's being nice by solving the problem he created. I mean, sure. I don't know. He could have let him go. He could have just not done it in the first place. New videos every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. That new, is a hell of a schedule. New, new shit in my mouse bowl every <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. <laughs> That's, do you, do you think that he, has to be one think, crusty bowl. Do you think he washed it and then like used it to prepare salad or something for his family? Oh it's my like, god! Better and not show my poopy, wife this. Poopy, oily. <laughs> no, his wife's the one behind the camera. <laughs> Don't show. It's a family it. production. Yeah. Oh my god. Here, do we have time to show the other one? The. Oh, yeah, I don't even time. know if I can find it because I might have to. Um. There's one where he's with his kids, and he... Well, let's show that next time. Next time, give a little teaser. Yeah. Give a little teaser. I think this is going to be fun. We're going to try to talk about, like, current... Kind yeah, of current yeah, events, yeah. but... We, we aren't really prepared. We kind of... I knew for the first episode I wanted to talk about the Mousetrap Monday thing, because it is it is something that I haven't seen anyone talk about on YouTube, and it's... Yeah, and hopefully that... we can talk about it more yeah yeah no yeah i definitely want it. i'm still subscribed to this guy so if any like weird videos keep popping up i'll i'll, I'll update the podcast but yep. no we, we want to talk about news and current events and stuff um not necessarily like petty in-depth american politics yeah no we want to go um i really really don't enjoy that kind of stuff yeah that's exactly it as i i mean we could go about our political opinions later and talk about that in depth but um Basically, my number one thing is I, I just, I'm not, I hate talking about Trump, really. Like, whether, it's, talk, yeah. whether it's good or bad, like, I don't know, I just, I think that it's overdone in It's definitely overdone, media. by everyone, really. I mean, yeah, it's... by, especially in the podcasting community. I'd oh, say, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. The, the late night hosts talk about it way too much, the podcasting oh, yeah. community. Jimmy, I can't, I can't, I mean. Jimmy Kimmel, uh, Stephen Colbert. Oh, I can't. Well, the only one I can watch is Jimmy Fallon because he he's against. He doesn't talk about it. Yeah, which is nice. But the reason I can't watch Jimmy Fallon is because it's just mind numbingly. Oh yeah, stupid. it's retarded shit, and yeah. it's it's all like that. The, it's so it's so disingenuous style. that stuff because it's all just to help. It's a symbiotic relationship. I mean, Jimmy Fallon is famous for I mean for his own merit, but he's primarily more famous be, because of. You know, having celebrities on the show. That's and, the whole point. And the celebrities be, get more exposure because they're on Jimmy Fallon's show. That's the whole point. So, right? yeah, I mean, it's so disingenuous being like, yeah, we're all friends and, like, this is all cool and we're doing lip sync battles. I mean, I'm sure, sure some of them, they get along, but it's it's totally fake. Yeah, but you can't be friends with everyone in Hollywood. Exactly, exactly. Right, it's everyone Hollywood. at all. Like, yeah, it's, no, it's yeah. ridiculous. Because it's Hollywood now. <laughs> but stuff, yeah. that's, stuff that's based on, like, say, like, more it's like bigger picture kind of stuff instead of like what did yeah his xyz pl say to you know whatever. i care about his policies and how they affect stuff i don't care about 
you know, getting the whole story about, well, CNN says this, and then... And, and they said that, and so they fired back, you know, like, if you want to go see that, like, go, go somewhere else. Yeah, go to Philip DeFranco. <laughs> We're Ed and Hoppy. We are, hold ourselves to a higher standard than Philip DeFranco. Are you hyped for the holiday season? I am hyped for the holiday season. I can't I say want... Christmas. No, I think everyone's really excited already, right? Like, I've heard many people be like, I'm so excited for Christmas, like... I said, that's because I've is, said it multiple times. It is August. <laughs> no, my coworker said it to me too. He was like, "Oh, where you work?" Almost there. <laughs> yeah. Um, no one's gonna get that. We'll it must explain, be explain it. Next, it. next week. See you next week, Invader. Oh, damn it. Damn it. He he already took it. S- the sound. We've been planning this podcast for a couple of years, and Prank Invasion stole our intro, so I don't know what we're yeah. going to do now. We were supposed to be Prank yeah, Invasion. Yeah, we, we, that was our whole thing, and then we had to switch to a podcast. Yeah. Damn, he stole so all So we're really not good at this for a reason. Yeah, because... We practiced because quite a bit. We practiced, you know, uh, our handshakes and our... Our, 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 our... Yeah. And our 6 9 and impression. He's kind of doing monthly things, uh, though. Well, yeah, but we, like, uh, lately he's, like, I think his last video was, like, two weeks ago. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Five I don't know how true. long it takes to hire all those actresses to yeah, come I mean, and suck That's the thing is, like, I, I, can't, I can't imagine he gets much revenue for that because, A, it's getting demonetized. It's getting demonetized, and he has to pay these people to do it. You know what I saw is at the end of his 6 9 video, he got a sponsorship from EDU, EDU Bird or something, and yeah, I, yeah. I don't know if you know about that. He has, he has sponsorships now. No, yeah. The sponsorship isn't a thing. EDU Bird is, like, a plagiarism site that, like... Or it's either played... Or I think what it is is um, there's experts that you can, you know, have do your homework. Oh, okay. And, and you, like, but it's, it's, like, a lot of YouTubers are getting sponsored by them and promoting it. And it's like, I, I remember it was a while ago that I heard about it, but it, it's like a huge thing. That, that's really bad. Well, it's cause all the, all the people that watch prank invasion are t- too busy slaying pussy to do are too homework. busy, uh, jacking their ding dongs to YouTube videos that they can't focus yeah. on their homework. Oh yeah. All those fifth graders, fifth yeah. through eighth graders, <clears throat> all those. And they get into high school and they realize there's more to life. They realize like that drugs they, <laughs> and jeweling. <laughs> They realize that no girl is gonna kiss them if they if they say you don't know what you're doing. After they get suspended in middle school, they realize <laughs> once they get to high school, they can once, they can be charged with a once they get sexual suspended assault. in middle school for for playing a quick game for a quick kiss. <laughs> for can, you, can you imagine hearing a rape case where someone is like, she lost at my at my game. <laughs> she didn't get the handshake right. <laughs> God. She, didn't, she didn't. She didn't eat my bees. <laughs> well, let's look at more music, please. I'm. 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 Yeah, let's see. And and uh, next next episode, hopefully, we'll have more to talk about. I'm sure. I'm sure the, I'm sure the six viewers we've had. Have <laughs> some. Some. Get one. It's in English. Is that Brendan Bell? In a minute. You come to my page, throwing shade, and you think you better than me? <laughs> never, bitch. Things that you do, you'll be never. At least they're all. At least they're all really attractive. <laughs> <laughs> I think that uh, this podcast is gonna be great because there are infinite amounts of cringe to talk about. Oh yeah, this is Funny. a great day and age for cringe. If you want to we find should just talk about that. Yeah, just the queer, the cringe podcast. Today in world cringe news, we mm-hmm. say a lot of cringy things. Ironically, yeah, we're yeah, gonna get yeah. we're gonna get made fun of. Like, oh yeah, you no, think everything's yeah. cringy, but you keep saying e. It's like that's the joke, buddy. I know there, that's the problem with YouTube is like I YouTube feel like we're very it. satirical people. No one understands satire. Yeah, on no one knows what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like. Like having like Alex Jones on the soundboard, I feel like people are gonna be like, "Don't you know he thinks Sandy Hook is fake?" It's like destroy the child. <laughs> <laughs> I got the right one. <laughs> no layers. Let's get some. No, see exactly. There's layers. That's that was layers a lot of time. There's the layers podcast. to the. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That's good. Okay. Don't ruin all. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll add more by next time. Well, I mean, I can't even see what ones there are. I'm, I'm looking towards my monitor. 
to see if I can find them. Why not? We'll have a video of behind the scenes why, and we why, can why, why, show you Why not? Lobsters. The market the is market dominated, dominated by lobsters. lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I think a, a few things you need to understand to watch this podcast is, or like the viewer should. Yeah. Dr. Jordan B. Peterson. We're not going to... Dr. Ben B. Pashiro, Shapiro. <laughs> He's not a doctor. Ben Shapiro. I mean, we're not going to explain any of it. It's just like, go look it up. And then... Um, H3. H3. Get a lot of Joe inspiration Rogan? from that. Joe Rogan kind of... Alex Jones. <laughs> I feel like Alex Jones does hold a factor in our, in our um, comedy. Mousetrap Monday, definitely. Mousetrap Monday is definitely a big inspiration for this podcast. Um, <laughs> we actually have some mouse... My, no seriously it, though like when we were when we were first thinking about doing a podcast this is that's when i discovered this guy and the reason that pushed me over that is like really wanted to do the podcast like i want to talk about this guy he's kind of really weird yeah we should talk about it more yeah every week every week we have our segment of mouse chat monday <laughs> every, every 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 wednesday slash thursday slash friday slash saturday we have a our... mouse trap mouse trap with the friday what if we um, mouse trap wednesday <laughs> no, we can we can like, um, we can become poachers and we can have like elephant trap Wednesday. <laughs> like, what if that was a community? Is this a bunch of poachers like posting videos oh of their God, traps? Now that would that would, oh yeah that would, that would easily get flacked, flacked for it. I mean, poaching is so bad. Even African countries don't like it. It's so bad that even the worst governments in the world recognize yeah. it as bad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, like. No one wants to. No, no generation wants to be the one reason why a species is gone, right? Oh yeah. Like I bet, like Gen Negative Z is like, oh dang, we got rid of the dodo. I was gonna <laughs> use that. Damn it! I was gonna say, I bet one of those generations back in the day was really sad about the dodo. <laughs> yeah. When, I bet those one of the they, original. When said, they all, when they all suddenly realized, oh shit, the dodo's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we'll just eat something else now. Or, or like the one of the first generations. Like, oh, shit, the mammoths and giant sloths are gone. Oh, shit, the dinosaurs, man. <laughs> <laughs> because dinosaurs and humans don't exist in the same time. That's a multi-layered joke. The, you, have to, you have to have a pretty high IQ to understand. <sighs> We're intellectuals, if you haven't noticed. Yeah, we are highly intellectuals. That is why we... we um. Are... I am. You can tell because my glasses. He is because... I'm Jewish. The Jews own everything. The Jews, the Jews own everything, yeah. The Jews control Hollywood. I feel like... If we get enough viewers, we can invest in a better soundboard. Oh yeah, I think we I, can have this giant. I think I would. Soundboard. I think I would care more about the quality of the podcast if we had more viewers. If we had viewers to begin with, we I don't mean, have this any. Is, this is our pilot yeah. episode, so to all zero subscribers out there, let's as see always, as always, see you next time. Peace out, shalom, shalom. <laughs> shalom.